Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the iPhone X 256GB and this phone goes for 715 dirhams or $195 and there is an iPhone X 64GB and an iPhone X 64GB goes for 630 dirhams or $170 so they have a difference of just $20 or 90 dirhams. So the difference between these two phones is not that much. If you can, you know, spend the extra $20 or the extra 80 dirhams, you can go for the iPhone X 256 GB as uh, it has a very big storage you know which is quite applicable in the day-to-day -day life so these two phones are the same they have the same hardware same camera you know same screen size same battery the difference is only storage so for the iphone x 256 gb you can get it at 715 dirhams or 100 95 dollars and this was one of the best phones to be put on the market the iphone x has a very decent camera that takes very nice photos even in 2023 this phone still takes nice natural photos where you don't lose you know quality on the photos you take it has a nice portrait and also a nice selfie camera that takes decent photos this phone was released in 2017 and it was released at $1,000 max. So this phone has depreciated very much over the years. Now you can get it at $170 or uh, $195. And you can be able to get your phone an iPhone X, which still performs up to date. This phone still gets updates. Uh, it's guaranteed to get an iOS 17 update right now it's at 16 and it has that nice modern look for the iphones which have up to date that was changed of recent on the iphone 14 pro and above models but it still has that iconic iphone design with the face id and the notch plus you know the symmetrical border designs iphone kickstarted this design and it looked and it still looks fine you know phones have uh, improved over the years making them borderless but the iphone x has that you know nice look that was given to it uh, this phone dropped the headphone jack and it comes with a lightening port but this phone feels nice and looks nice scores it has uh, features that are still relevant up to 2023 and this phone i'm guaranteed it will deliver up to 2024 uh one downside you can get on this phone is maybe battery cause battery degrades over the years but you can repress the battery and put a new battery will be able to get a very nice performance out of this phone it's a very nice phone well built and it's in the price price range of you know uh budget smartphones uh in 2023 budget flagships and it's better to buy you know a flagship of last year or maybe two years back instead of buying the latest flagships because those phones also deliver this phone is in the price range where you can get yourself a good iphone so guys thanks for watching and see you on the next one